in order to kind of document the uh, hull effect uh, sensors with the various positions of the car, uh, figured I'd make this little video and kind of show. So what I have is uh, the IMPA up on the screen and then in the background you can see the car. So what I was gonna show is what the status of the uh, hull sensor is at each step in the uh, convertible top process so you can watch the little lights on the screen go dark or light um, as the background you can see the top so maybe this will help diagnose a little bit if looking for which sensors are supposed to be made when so if we start with the uh, IMPA this is the base screen so this is a 650i so we want to hit F4 and then we're going to go to the body and then we're going to click the convertible soft top click click and it's going to give an error saying that the language doesn't match and then the next step is to go to F5 which is your status and then F1 which is going to show our hall sensors so here with the car with the top fully open so it's down in the compartment and I have the windows up that uh, we can watch these sensors now the side windows they don't have a hall sensor on them. Uh, the body module knows whether or not they're up and down. So if the body module gives the okay that those windows are down, then it also will start the process. So we already know just from past experiments that this one right in the bottom here, that's that back window. So what I'll do is cycle that back window. You can see right now with the window up, the dot is not lit. But if I go in here and cycle the window, just hit the button, when I lower the window, you'll see when it gets to the bottom that the uh, dot turns black. And so that would be step one for the car is to make sure that that dot turns black before it's going to initiate the cycle. So what I'll do now is just go ahead and get in the car, leave the screen up so you can see the uh, computer screen, and then you can watch all of these dots light up and unlight. They'll be uh, hall sensors for the latches on top. There's uh, sensors for this lid as it goes all the way up. And then the segment sensors will be on the side. They're not going to show on the screen. So let me go ahead and get in the car. I'll raise the back window back up. And we'll start it just like we have everything at the up position. And then we can watch the top close. And you can watch the hall sensors turn on and off. And you'll get an idea of which one's doing what. Here we go. We're going to put a top. So, the first step of the whole thing is that back window goes down. And these windows go down part way. So, I'm going to hit the button right now. you should have different dots. So our window went back up and so it's no longer made and you can see the changes in the in the positions. So let me put the top back down and I'll do it again and then we can go over and look at the second sensor. But right now my top says one sensor. Okay so we're gonna open back up. The windows go down, back window goes down.
initialized which uh, we may be running into so it could be over on the segment sensor side so we'll flip over there and just check that one out so let's go over to this screen so these are all the hall sensors now we got a idea of what's doing what so now let's go over here to the segment sensors so now with the top fully back you're at seven and seven and you're reading these readouts on the screen so when I do this same function, we're going to see those segment sensors move. Okay, so here we go. We're going to close the top. Sensors. And just a second ago it blinged and said that it the top wasn't locked so I'm kind of curious as do I have a segment sensor that's not cooperating since it got rained on a little bit the other day all right so let's open it back up and watch the segment sensors as the top moves again Just see what this third screen is. And I'll cycle this again. We'll see what it does. should be all the sequences of the convertible top and hopefully you'll be able to correlate the on offs of the of the uh, black dots on the INPA to the movement of the convertible and also the location of the segment sensors and that'll help you to diagnose which which may or may not be making or when it's supposed to be making you can manually move the top to repeat the sequence that it does automatically moving each step and just make sure each of those sensors are picking up. Well, I hope that helps someone. And as always, thanks for watching.